Welcome or welcome back to French Action. My name is Jenny. You have asked me to make a video on liaison because you say that you either make the wrong liaisons or you tend to avoid them. So in this video, we are going to see how or when to make the liaison in French. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! There are three types of liaisons. You have the compulsory ones, forbidden ones, and optional ones. But today, we're going to focus on the compulsory ones. Before I tell you what a liaison is, I would like you to listen to what I'm going to say now and identify the liaisons. Écoutez bien, listen carefully. Bonjour les amis, comment allez-vous? This is what I said. Bonjour les amis, comment allez-vous? Hello friends, how are you? I'm sure you noticed that I didn't say bonjour les amis, but les amis. So what I've done, I've made a liaison between the final consonant of les, with that S, with the vowel, the first vowel of ami. So I linked it so that it really flows much better. Bonjour les amis sounds better than bonjour les amis. However, you need to know that you have no choice about it because it is a compulsory liaison. I've done the same with comment allez-vous. I link the T of comment with the A of aller. So in fact, there were two liaisons in this sentence. What I'm going to do is to put this little underscore sign each time that there is a liaison. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! So, a liaison is compulsory with articles such as un, une, des, les, and also possessive adjectives like mon, ton, son, ses. And what you're going to find is that there will be a Z sound because when you have the S's, for example, of the words, you're going to have an S between two vowels and it's going to give you a Z sound. Here are two examples. J'ai des amis français. J'ai des amis français. I have French friends. Voici mes amis de Lille. Here are my friends from Lille. Liaisons are compulsory with prepositions such as dans, sans, chez. Dans means in, sans, without, chez, at or to somebody's place. And I have a sentence for you. Je vais dans une pâtisserie sans elle pour acheter des éclairs. I'm going to a pâtisserie, so pâtisserie is a bakery, sans elle, without her, pour acheter des éclairs, to buy some éclairs. Éclairs is a, is a type of cake. All right? So, je vais dans une pâtisserie sans elle pour acheter des éclairs. You have to make a liaison with demonstrative adjectives like c'est or c'est with an s, cet ami, ses amis. The liaison is compulsory with personal pronouns such as il or elle or on, nous, vous, il, elle, plural. And here's an example. Vous allez vous amuser à cet anniversaire. So here I have also added vous amuser. The vous is not a personal pronoun. 
it is in fact a reflexive pronoun, which just to show you that it, it still works uh, with a reflexive pronoun. So, je répète, vous allez vous amuser à cet anniversaire. You're going to enjoy yourself at this birthday party. You need to make a liaison with a verbal group. For example, ils ont, ils ont, but even when it is a question, ont-ils, ont-ils, We need to make a liaison with E. This is a common mistake I hear. I hear il est intelligent. It is il est intelligent. Il est intelligent. So, intelligent, you will have the liaison. We know about il and E already, but very often people don't know that there should be a liaison between the T of E and the vowel of the adjective here. Il est intelligent. It's also compulsory with prepositions such as au or en, which we often use with places like countries. Je vais aux États-Unis, puis en Australie. I'm going to the United States, then to Australia. Je répète, je vais aux États-Unis, puis en Australie. And I'm sure you noticed that there's also a liaison between the S and the U of États-Unis. We are also going to make liaisons with single syllable adverbs, adverbs such as bien ou très. Example, ton livre est bien utile. Mais très étrange. Your book is very useful, but very weird. I'm sure by now you know that we say il y a and not il y a. Okay, so we have il y a beaucoup d'embouteillages. There's a lot of traffic. Il y a beaucoup d'embouteillages. Il y a beaucoup d'embouteillages. Don't forget to make the liaison with numbers. For example, une image, deux enfants. We need to make a liaison with an adjective and noun. And I'm talking about an adjective which is placed before the noun because adjectives are usually placed after. For example, voici mon petit ami. Voici mon petit ami. Here's my boyfriend. You need to make a liaison with certain or quelques and also quelques-uns. For example, j'ai quelques étudiants. I have a few students. Or, quelques-uns sont excellents. Some of them are excellent. We have to make a liaison with quand, but when it is in a statement. Quand is not, with quand you don't usually make a liaison except when you, you say quand est-ce que. And what's going to happen is that the D will change to a T sound. Quand est-ce que. Quand est-ce que. Otherwise, in a statement, it's going to be Quand on apprend le français, again, a T sound, but canton is used very often, so be careful. It's the same case with comment, because when you use comment in a question, you're not going to have a liaison. However, in this sentence, comment allez-vous, it is always uh, made. The liaison is always made. So be careful. Just in this one. However, we are going to use the quel in a question. Quel âge as-tu? 
And when I'm talking about Kel, I'm talking about the Kel with the feminine, the plural, and so on. Okay? Quels exercices fais-tu? Quels exercices fais-tu? Finally, we are going to make liaisons with expressions, which we call in French, expression figée. So these are particular ones, like plus ou moins, avant-hier, de temps en temps, common mistake I hear, tout à coup, tout à l'heure, c'est-à-dire. So, here's a little exercise to see if you got it. I have written these sentences for you. What you need to do is just to put the underscore signs where you believe that there's a liaison to be made. And then after that, I will read the text for you with all the liaisons. So I have put my underscore sign and now I'm going to read. Comment allez-vous? J'espère que vous allez tous bien. Nous allons commencer le cours dans une minute par des exercices d'écoute. Il y aura trois écoutes. Vous êtes prêts? Hey guys, it's time for you to tell me if you enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy it, then you need to like it and share it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Au revoir!